Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving rate problems. This is standard 7.4D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the manager of a coffee shop, according to the number of customers who put creamer, either vanilla or chocolate, during one hour and classified them by age. Not sure why this manager would care which age group had more chocolate or vanilla, but that's what the manager did. So percentage is what we're looking for. You see all our answer selections are percentages of these customers put chocolate creamer in their coffee during this hour. Hmm. So we need to find a percent. All right. So there are several things we can do to find this percent. So the percent is always going to be out of 100, right? Out of the total. And so the easiest way to probably do this is to make, I actually have to do th three different things here. First, let's make a fraction. Just because something like this really lends itself to a fraction. That fraction we could easily turn into a decimal. And then that decimal, all we got to do is move it over two times and we can get that into our percentage. But we typically are not going to start with that percent. We're going to start from the fraction to the decimal into the percent. And remember, all three of those um, represent the same quantity different ways. Like 1 half is 0 0.5 is 50%. All right, so let's do our fraction. So we need our chocolate creamer. So how many chocolate over our denominator is just going to be our total. All right, so let's figure out what that's going to look like. This whole age thing, I think, is just made up. We don't really need that. What we need are we are going to need some totals here. So there were six vanilla, and there were 14 chocolate. And I really think that age thing was just kind of extra information we probably don't need. All right, so how many chocolates do we have? We've got 14 chocolates. How many total? Well, 14 plus 6 is going to make 20. All right, so I'm on my way here. I've got a fraction. 14 out of 20 customers put chocolate in creamer into their coffee during this hour. Now, you see this right here? It's not how percents work. You don't just take your numerator and slap a percent on there unless you happen to luck out. In this case, we're not going to. Uh, sometimes you can, if it's out of 100, if you have a fraction with a denominator of 100, you can do that, but only if the denominator is 100. Now we need to turn this into a decimal. Well, we've got two options here. We can always divide up, right? You can always divide uh, 20 into 14. You can always do that to turn a fraction into a decimal. Or if you can get your denominator into 10, 100 or 1,000, those are your first three decimal points, points, tenths, hundreds, thousandths. And I see that if we divide by twos, make an equivalent fraction, I can get my denominator into tenths. So you can divide 20 to 14, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get 7 tenths, which is 0 0.7. 7 tenths, 7 tenths. You see how these two are the same? If I can get that into the denominator of 10 hundred or 1,000, it's an easy decimal because it says that name right there. And then to turn that into a percent, we take our decimal and we move it over two times. So we're going to move it over once, twice, and we're going to equal 70%. And that is our answer, C.